Yeah, isn't it? So we invite everyone to put on Vishwanka and uh, go outside to, 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 to stay in solidarity with Ukraine. You want to add something more? Uh, all I want to add is especially... We have no connection. We have to say this letter too. Uh, we just want to say uh, sort of uh, what uh, John McCain had been mentioned today, Senator John McCain, is that uh, in the next coming days, especially tomorrow, most cities in the diaspora are hosting um, Euromaidans. Uh, I know for a fact there are Euromaidans happening in, in New York, Philadelphia, Toronto, and Chicago, and I'm sure in many other cities as well. Uh, earlier today we had an opportunity to speak with uh, the Ukrainian Greek Catholic Bishop of, of Paris, uh, Bishop uh, Boris Kudziak, and he was saying that it's not only, um, it's not only a symbol of, of solidarity, but this sort of feeling that, you know, the diaspora is with Ukraine is very powerful. Uh, and in, as you hear in the background right now that the power of prayer, Bishop uh, Boris believes, is what has kept the protesters safe against countless attacks of the police. Um, so participate in your local Yevromaidan. It is, it is really uh, unbelievably uh, a huge support. Uh, it raises morale here on the Maidan. Um, it, it, the, the diaspora is really um, supporting uh, and is very present in the last day or two on the Maidan and this is a huge, um, it's very moving for the people participating here to realize that they're not alone in this movement. Um, we also have a letter from uh, Spilnet TV which we'd like to share with you about a, uh, about a citizens council which has been formed on the Euromaidan. Um, it's called the, the Maidan Citizens Council, and I'm, I'm just going to read the statement here. The Maidan Citizens Council includes over 30 community organizations working actively in the Maidan, a mobilized resource consisting of roughly 50,000 people. The Maidan Citizens Council was formed to coordinate a common forum and actions in order to achieve systematic changes in the country, rightfully and legally, in four regards changes in the government, opposition, international organizations, and in grassroots, grassroots actions. The principle of this union allows open conversation about stability and action of this council and has become the de facto government of the Maidan at this given moment. The institutionalization of this council as well as the support of professional organizations of this council will grant it legal status. Uh, so the hope is that this this uh, amalgamation of organizations that are that find themselves in the Maidan will uh, sort of become the de facto government um, and will be recognized as long as the community organizations and the government organizations sort of come to recognize it as it's already been recognized by the countless people who attend the Maidan and participate in, in a lot of uh, the volunteer opportunities, the, sa uh, the, the, the kitchen especially, the volunteer police. Everything has been uh, organized uh, without a very clear leadership and this has been very much to the benefit and this, this Maidan Council, this, uh, the community of Maidan Council is um, very much starting to be seen as a very powerful force uh, which represents the largest demographic at the Euromaidan um, apart from the government representatives and opposition leaders. Uh, so I think this is a very important uh, movement to be aware of. Do you have anything else to add? Yeah, I have uh, to add anything about uh, the day. today it was a very important cultural day on Maidan because there was very big concert held over here. The Okean Elsie was playing and a couple of other Ukrainian best artists and there, there were thousands and thousands of people who were over here and on the Maidan. You can't really, you couldn't really work normally over here because everyone was very happy and dancing.
and the atmosphere is here is very very nice actually now it's around three degrees below the zero and uh, and people are keep warm and as now we have message on the chat that we, we want to say thank you for Alaska for staying now together with us and all the rest cities and countries who are watching the Spilno TV at the moment and we want to tell you that if you have something to share with us or if you want to contact us you can go on our Facebook page page which is called the Euromaidan Journalist Collective or the, the projectmaidan.com or email us at Collective at gmail.com Thank you very much for being tonight with us or today. Good morning or good evening. Bye bye.